Sermon 115 of Nachabalaga reminds us that if we're going to risk our lives for something, we should risk our lives in the cause of God. That we should honor as we have been honored or by implication honor fellow creations regardless of how we are personally honored and we should take the lesson of the past of other than ourselves And so our property as well, that we dedicate of our property towards the cause of God. You know, none of this is just in the name of God. It's in the cause of God, peace of the law. Saying 186 reminds us that true ruin is the turning away from what is right. Saying 187, reminds us that impatience, discontent, dukkha, suffering, whatever you want to call it, well, that leads towards death. And saying 188, reminds us that the caliphate is not according to who knew anybody, nor by kinship. And that was the real issue that happened a few decades after the Rightly guided Klafa. And if you need no other verse to understand jihad, Olin Kana Baukum Wabna Ukum Waekwan Ukum Waswajukum Washiratukum Wamwalun Taraf to Muha, what did Jaratun talk? Shaunaka Sadaha, Wamasakinu, Tardaunaha, Ahambalikum, Milahe Warasulehi, Wajehadan, Fisa Bilehe. Fatarambasu hatayati lahu be amrehi wallahu la yahdil qawm al fasiqin. Now, there is a verse that takes things even further, but this verse indicates that a person is in the wrong if they do not. Love God, the prophet of the time, and by implication all the other ones, right? And the striving in God's cause over the wealth types and the means to achieve wealth and the closer circles of relations. So, you know, love the three more than the eight. 